I can be a stick. Galvanized electric fence wire, it's galvanized steel, 17 gauge. Oddly enough, the higher the gauge number, the thicker the thinner it is, and the lower the gauge number, the thinner. Um, but normally, 16 gauge is the best. To keep going, I could make this or this. Again, with my chain I just touch as many as I can. At that point, you have strap and brush cut ring. You then find it takes a little bit of working, then you fine-tune it. You take one ring, you open it, you put four rings onto it. Can you technically do this with a bunch of paper clips? Yes, that's how I originally started before I actually uh, got the wire. So you could do a paper clip. It'll look very odd and you're probably not <laughs> going to get the same thicknesses, but it is possible. So Bryson, you don't buy any of the rings anymore? You make them all? Oh, I never did buy the rings. I just oh, cool. made them from the start. Later. Yeah. This is the start to form and you can kind of see that pattern. So if I wanted to continue that, I would just keep adding rings. You can see how that looks a little similar to that one. You embrace this. These ones are for sale. Full version. I use some smaller rings wrapped around a quarter inch. This is 38 of an inch. Um, and I wanted to make this, the smaller, so I said, oh, it's smaller ring. But I was using the same size wire, so that's when you get into something called aspect ratio. Basically, the ratio between the thickness of the wire and the width of the dowel rod you use to make the ring. If I were to make a shirt out of this, I'm going to get killed real fast on the belt. <laughs> This, I'm probably still going to get killed just because they're really small rings and delicate wire, but I'm going to survive a little bit longer. That, I'm going to survive the entire battle. But that's that is eight and one. Take off my bracelet for me.
You've already been caught once, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> How can you do that? 